Welcome back to Science Sundays. Memorial Day weekend is known as the unofficial start to summer, and it sure is feeling like summer out there next week. So I wanted to find some fun and simple science activities you can do inside with the kids when it gets too hot to play outside. Now we all know about slime, but have you heard of oobleck? Check it out. Let's talk a little bit about the science first. Did you know there are three states of matter? Science um, will show us that we have liquid, we have solid, and then there's gas. And normally things change from liquid to solid or to gas. Think of water, for example. What happens when you have water and you freeze it? With temperature, it actually makes it into a solid state. It goes from liquid to solid. And with water, if you boil it, again, using temperature, it will turn into steam, which is the gas state. So today we're gonna look at a oobleck, which is a non-Newtonian fluid or a non-Newtonian liquid. It's not quite either one. It's a little bit like quicksand. So what you're gonna need is a bowl, you will need some water. So I have a couple cups of water here and cornstarch. That's it, pretty simple. It's very helpful to have a measuring cup, a stirring spoon, or just get your hands dirty if you want. And then finally, if you'd like some color to it, you can get some food coloring. So let's get started. So I'm gonna begin with putting the water. I think it's always easier first. I'm gonna start with a cup of water, but there's really not a right or wrong. You can put more or less of either of them until you get the consistency that you like. And we'll talk about that in a moment. You can always add more water or add more cornstarch. As always, with your science hats on, you're going to do, make some predictions. You're going to make your hypothesis. You're going to make observations. You're going to try new things. You're going to experiment. If it doesn't come out the way you want it, don't give up. Um, it is a process of discovery with science. If you are going to add food coloring, I do recommend that maybe you put it in the beginning. It's usually a little easier to put it with the water. So I'm going to put some green in there. And then we're going to start adding in some, I'm not going to necessarily measure this, but usually you want about a cup of water, one to two cups of the corn starch. But it's sometimes nicer to just kind of add it little by little. And we'll start stirring it. You know what we're gonna do now? I think I'm gonna just get my hands dirty. What do you think? It's probably more fun that way. So we're gonna put our hands in here. And what you're gonna see is, although it looks like a liquid, see how runny it is? If you go quickly into there, you'll notice it is much harder. What you're gonna find is the best way to test is when you actually push pressure. So you can actually almost punch the, <laughs> the, the oobleck. And when you do so, you'll notice that it becomes a solid. It's hard, but when you run your hands through it slowly, it turns to a liquid. Another good test is grab a handful, like, just like this, and when you move things and put pressure like a rock, it's hard, it's like a solid. But if you slowly let go, you can see that it is like a liquid. So who knew science would be so fun? Well, I know I did. So <laughs> have fun, experiment, try new things, enjoy your summertime, but keep learning and having fun with science. Thank you so much for joining today and have fun with Oobleck. You can learn more about the science of non-Newtonian fluids and the states of matter on our website, turn to 23com forward slash science Sundays. And there you can also find more recipes for more hands-on sensory science activities for preschoolers and elementary school students. Enjoy.